the thing about Al was pure passion uh, in everything that he did, everything he played, even putting up shelves in the house. <laughs> you know, I mean, he couldn't do anything by halves. I see in your eyes You don't want the sunrise to come Cause you know Well, from the very beginning, it was um, it was a phone call I had from John Pratt, who had been out for a Sunday afternoon beer with Derek Fitzpatrick, the co-writer. They all said that their favourite song of Dad's was Trade Wings and how great it would be to, to re-record it. One thing led to another, Tam, and, and as you know, within, within a couple of weeks, it had gotten in Andrew Murray's hands, Steve Jackson, who basically orchestrated the whole thing. Luke spoke to Andy Murray, who used to play keyboards with Al in the mechanics and used to do a lot of writing with him. And Andy put together a piano version of Trade Winds. That then got farmed out to various different musicians to add their bit. It's like, you know, a dozen different people baking a bit of a cake. <laughs> And eventually, Leo heard the backing track and loved it and put the vocal on. And I just, I thought the vibe was instantly great. It's one of the easiest things I've done for ages. I've got to say, my voice just suited it. Basically, most of it is just a first take and it's how we felt it, you know, and then when the backing vocals came in and added to it. And Joe's guitar and that extra section put in there, you know, for Joe's solo. Ah, oh, the thing just lifts off. It's bloody great. Well, then Steve Jackson phoned me and it says, Here, John. Fancy mixing a track for us? I said, oh yeah, what's this all about? And he told me all about it. I said, yeah, I'd be delighted and honoured to do it. Then Tam got everybody to film themselves and they sent the films into Tam who edited yeah. it into a video. But originally, as, as you know, it was just going to be done at a local level. It was just too good to, to not get this out. For Leo to turn around and say, you know, he would like to release it as a single was, was music to everyone's ears, you know. She said, how long will it be till she hands you back? You know, I think it's a, it's a tribute to Al and a beautiful song, you know. He did write some gorgeous songs. You know, and he's loved by even people who've never met him. I mean, he worked with me and he worked with T Tina Turner and oh, so many people. And, and, and they all loved him, you know. He was a character. You'd bring him into a room and... He'd light up the room, you know. <laughs> 